Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk about some important points you need to take care during the breeding process of discus fish. Please try to watch full video without skipping as you may lose important information. Please subscribe to our channel, if you like this content and press the like button, to support us. Let's get started. Place an upturned clay pot or cone in your discus tank. It will give a hard surface for the discus to lay eggs on. Be sure the surface is clean and will not pollute the aquarium. Professional plastic cones are sold online that have been used with proven results. These may be a good consideration to increase laying chances. Place the spawning medium in the center of the aquarium. The discus will spawn eggs on one side and portion of the cone. The discus will begin cleaning the medium in preparation by constantly, sucking, at the surface. If the discus have not visibly begun to clean the cone, recheck the water quality and ensure they are being fed consistently. It is at this stage it is imperative to ensure the water is soft. This is crucial in the formation of the egg's shell. In hard water conditions, discus eggs can form an impenetrable shell which young cannot break. This stage is the longest of all stages and unfortunately the stage where chemistry is realized. Some discus pairs will never mate in the wild and many more will never mate in captivity. Tank-bred discus have a much higher chance of spawning when compared to wild discus. This stage requires patience and careful monitoring. When and if the discus spawn in this stage, they will lay eggs every week for up to 15 weeks. This cycle usually occurs twice a year and can be rigged with careful adjustment of feeding, temperature and water conditions. This point is extremely rewarding, discus mate for life and will hopefully continue to mate for years ahead. After courting the eggs will then be laid on the cone or pot's surface. They will be very small, mildly opaque spheres stuck to the cone in the order of thousands. The discus will care for the eggs by constantly fanning them for aeration. The parenting discus will even pick off and consume the unfertilized eggs to eliminate the chance of disease spreading to healthy eggs. From this stage the eggs will hatch within 48 hours. When the eggs hatch you they do not have to be fed directly as they instinctively feed off a secretion delivered from their mother. After 48 hours they should be free swimming and growing very quickly. Fry can stay with their parents for a lengthy period of time. However in captivity the young can become very aggressive and begin to remove scales from their mother. At the week old stage it is advisable to remove the parent discus from the aquarium for their own safety. It is at this point it is necessary to raise the young with commercial food. Carefully cared for discus fry can yield survival rates of up to 70%. It is recommended to only sell the discus young when they reach at least 2 inches in size. This is to ensure they are strong enough for travel and acclimatization into a new aquarium. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked this video. Please show your support by subscribing to our YouTube channel and press the notification bell to get immediately notified when we upload our next video. More interesting videos are on the way. Please give a like if you like this content and share it with your friends and family. Please also comment your thoughts and opinions about this video in the comment section. Take care and see you in our next video.